Hey everyone, Matt J. Doyle here with TAP Interviews. I'm here with Mr. Rob Rico. He is an actor, musician, comedian, and MC. Good afternoon, Rob. How are you doing? Sir, I'm doing great, sir. How about yourself? I'm doing great, Rob. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Yep. I want you to know that uh, I know I want to make sure we're six feet apart and I brought my mask because I don't want to put any <laughs> germs on you. You know, got to make sure we're all doing our part, Matt. <laughs> Thank God it's not, uh, you can't catch it over the internet. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, hey, you don't, you don't know. Maybe there's particles through the mic will, it'll find its way through, huh? <laughs> hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully not, huh? So I might far, get so, from you. <laughs> yeah, so far, so good. So I don't think anybody's caught it that way yet. Yeah, <laughs> and not just yet. But I did hear in New York that they that someone got infected through the drainage uh, system. Through the draining system. Yeah, like the toilet, oh, the wow. restroom, or whatever. Yeah. But oh, anyway, that's that... I'm really thirsty, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm, I don't. This is all toilet water back here. <laughs> oh my God, that's a lot of water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Rob, please tell us a little bit about your professions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, I'm a professional freestyle rapper, uh, comedian, uh, mostly a character actor myself. I actually just finished wrapping up a two-year tour around the country with a improv group called Mission Improbable. And I currently just relocated into Los Angeles. And I'm producing a show called Pass the Mic at the West Side Comedy Theater uh, over here in Santa Monica. So it's a monthly show where we do freestyle rap comedy, character rap battles. And I got to say, it's, it's one of the funnest times in Los Angeles right now. Sounds awesome. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. So how long have you been here in Los Angeles? So I've been in Los Angeles proper, uh, probably about, let's say, three, four years, maybe, maybe five years. The timeline is kind of strange because uh, I was originally born in the suburbs of the suburbs, the Antelope Valley. And so we were always like in close proximity to LA, but uh, I didn't take like that big jump until I was about maybe 21 years old. So, okay. you know, I, yeah, ever since then, like I went to Chicago, I've traveled and things. So it's a strange timeline. Awesome. Well, I'll just quickly share your website with the audience and we can talk a little bit about that. So just bear with me while I do that. Sure, no problem. And uh, here we go now. That's your website, right? Yeah. That is, that's a strange looking version of me. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah, so tell us a little bit about the T-shirt. It's very intriguing. Yeah. <laughs> well, so uh, it's so that is a shirt that says Rico, the man, the myth, and the bad influence. Uh, it was a gift from my father. Uh, I was just one day scrolling through Facebook, and um, I, f I feel like Rico, if your name is Rico, you have a standard to live up to. You know, you're either a troublemaker or you're just wacky in some capacity. And uh, I saw this in my father. He saw me looking at it, and it's a gift. He literally surprised me one day, and it's like a, it, you, it's like a badge of honor when you wear that, man. Like, like imagine Matt if you had a shirt that said Matt, the rock star, super cool dude, and you get to walk around wearing that. Oh, dude, it makes you feel great. <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing gift from your father. Congratulations. He sounds like a great yeah. person. So, just going through your website a little bit, we can see the uh, comic. Yes, sir. That's and that you're uh, a national battles. touring comic. We can see that you're an MC. Yes, sir. And you've been studying music for around a decade. Yes, sir. And you have the pass the mic as well. Yes, sir. Freestyle rap comedy. And then the contact as well. So yes, that's sir. a great website. So, yeah, just elaborate a little bit more about the site. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the website I started putting together actually to myself um, like over a year ago uh, that passed the, sh the show past the mic. We've been working on that for a couple of years. And the uh, gentleman that I work on, really cool friend of mine, uh, Lloyd Alquist, Epic Lloyd, uh, he works with the uh, Epic Rap Battles of History. And so uh, we, we're good friends. And uh, he approached me to play a character on that battle. And that meant a lot to me. So um that I would have considered like a, a big step, like a bookmark, a benchmark in my career. So getting to that, I wanted to have something proper that displayed everything, you know, correctly. So if someone musically is interested, they'd have an easy access to the music there. Or if they are interested in the comedy things like that, they can find that there with a nice little button in the front for just generic information. So I try to 
split it up for different people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like a great site. Now I just Thank want to share your uh, – I have a couple of other sites here, and I'll just share the first one is the Instagram. So just right. bear with me while I do that. Mm-hmm. I hope I don't have anything embarrassing because I, I put it all up, man. <laughs> and there it is there, underscore Robert Rico, at underscore Robert Rico. We can see that you have 1,186 followers. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Thank you, sir. And is that a quote from Brad Pitt? I I don't know. I wasn't in the room, but may, maybe it is. Maybe. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can neither confirm or deny, Matt. What, what do you expect? <laughs> yeah, and Robert, we can see there some of your pictures. There, there you are playing the piano or the organ or the synthesizer. Yes, sir. And just some, from, uh, some great from different pics. Looks- around the country. Yes, sir. Actually, so that the- one right there is uh, from uh, the Graffiti Highway in uh, Pennsylvania. If you scroll down just a little bit more. Let's see more. Oh, just a little more. You just passed it. Just a little more. You got it the, right there. You'll see the guys with the three there, the smiley face and the. Oh yeah. Uh, that's a graffiti highway in Pennsylvania. There, it's a strip of highway in the middle of a city that is no longer occupied because beneath it is a coal mine that caught fire, so it's unoccupiable. Wow, that's fantastic. So that's mm-hmm. your Instagram, mm-hmm. and we'll just come back to the broadcast right now. And also your Twitter, which is the same handle, at underscore Robert Rico. Let's just have a look at that real quick. Mm-hmm. Might grab myself a big old jug of water in the meantime. Yeah, there, uh, we, yeah. we can still see you, though. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want one, I'll send it right over. So there's your Twitter, 1,335 followers. So that's great. So there's your website, Instagram, and Twitter. Yes, sir. And we'll just come back to the broadcast. Just bear with me. So, yeah, so (laughs) just wanted to share those with the audience. So Mm -hmm. the actual website is just Rob Rico or RobertRico.com, right? Uh, Rob Rico Comedy. Yes, sir. RobRicoComedy.com. Yes, sir. And the, and the, the Instagram is at underscore Robert Rico and the Twitter is at underscore Robert Rico. Yes, sir. I was awesome. trying to keep it consistent. So tell us which is your favorite thing that you do. So that that's actually, I got to tell you, man, that, that's, on, that's honestly a tough question because um, it, it's always been like I will take a couple of years on it, like earnestly pursuing one thing. And then, like, I'll hit a book, a, a benchmark in that, and they'll be like, "Okay, I'm I'm satisfied with my path in that thing. I now want to like well round this part of me. So then I'll like focus a little more on the acting, and bam, 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 bam. And so, you know, after like I said, just doing two years um, acting, it's just so much fun. We did mm. it at college campuses. We were able to provide workshops for schools, like for free. And you're doing shows like sometimes in New York City and you get to go and get a slice of pizza after the show. And it's amazing. But sometimes you'll be in North Dakota or South Dakota and you'll be like, I'm doing a show for 13 people. But for those 13 people, it is the coolest show they'll ever see, you know, and, and I'll be damned enough to say that it's the coolest show in South Dakota that night. My God, sounds fantastic. It's fun, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. So please, uh, just do, could you do a little bit of freestyle rapping for us? Would that be possible? Or? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's putting you on it, the spot. It, let me, uh, it is a little, but um, let me think. I've got a mask in front of my face. I'm not disgraced about it. Matter of fact, if you had me flip, I would just flounder around it. I'm not weird, strange, or obtuse, but people have left me hanging like I was the wrong end of a noose. But if that was a reference that would make people upset, I can't be an artist and say it's something I regret, but I digress. I mean, come on, Matt J. Doyle, don't get me upset here. I wouldn't want my blood boiled. I'm here to work and toil. My plans are all foiled. Oh, my gosh. Matter of fact, this flush is royal because my face is so eviscerated and crazy. Matter of fact, dog, you couldn't even shock me if you tased me. <laughs> go, man. Awesome. That was great. Thank you, sir, man. I do. It's all the time, man. I love it. <laughs> So just to elaborate a little bit more on, let's go back to the acting just for a quick minute. Hmm? Uh, have you done any TV shows or films that we might have heard of or what yeah, kind of yeah. work have you done? Yes? Yeah. So uh, the big, biggest one I did, or in my opinion, that at least meant the most to me, uh, easily the amp- epic rap battles of history because it's like an Emmy-nominated series on such a huge platform. 
And for, for me, it's a big deal because being an artist or a musician and an actor, like, or a rapper and an actor, there's, there's no other like YouTube series that is bigger that literally can combine those two so tandem and to be able to like the character that i was able to play was che guavera who typically people will hear that and they'll kind of be like mm, well, what's this person about but but to be able to play him in a educational way to kind of like put out unbiased facts for people to just you know learn in a cool rapping form uh dude that was so so awesome like they're they're like latino people and like just people of color who can see them be like oh this isn't a guy I'm going to look at and be like, oh, screw that. It's a person I'm going to be able to learn from in some capacity before immediately, you know, jumping to a conclusion. Wow. Yeah. Very philosophical. <laughs> I try. So, yeah, 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 you are. Yeah. So uh, tell us uh, what hobbies do you have outside of your professions? Uh, uh, what business? Uh, what hobbies? Oh, what hobbies? Oh, well, I love drawing and things, anything that kind of keeps the wheels turning. Uh, I try to play my keyboard uh, as much times during the day I can, try to get 20, 25 minutes a day in. Um, but recently, uh, I have started gardening. You know, we're 14. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. I started cooking up, picking up. I got nothing better to do, Matt. So I've, I've, got a little, I've got a little picture for you. You want to see a flower? Okay, sure. Right? <laughs> for all for the worldwide followers, man. <laughs> Let's see. You're, you're going to be proud of this because I know I am. All right, let me turn this brightness up for you. Don't try and smell it, okay? Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> that's, well, yeah. That's a plant, right? Yeah, it's a plant, man. I, I did it yeah. myself. Oh my God! You brought I, it. I didn't from, go to Ralph. You brought it from a, a seed to that, or? Yep, from a seed, from a seed, man. To that. Yes, sir. There's nothing more accomplishing, or at least to me, man. Was that, did you start that like right at the start of the lockdown or? Well, that's, that's the crazy thing is I, I do, I, uh, like three months ago, four months ago when I just moved back, you know, you want to set yourself into a routine and things. So I, I was like, I want to get into gardening. It's consistent. I'll wake up in the morning and it'll give me something to take care of. And I started that months ago and then COVID came and I was like, I just happened to pick the right hobby, the right time. I get to go in the morning. I clip them. I talk to them. I've probably gone crazy and I haven't even realized it yet. <laughs> no, a lot of people talk to their plants. I mean, plants are living, yeah. they're living beings. Yeah. They're yeah, a part of, you know, part of the fun. universe. So. There, there is a, there is a, amongst the other things though, uh, I did forget to mention a cool thing that we have done uh, recently is Penny Dreadful. Uh, I did get a good walk on roll for that one too. It was uh, the newest season that's coming out. There's, I can't, I can't divulge too much. Because you mm -hmm. sign these little things, but um, there will be a fight scene in a in a in a record shop, and just look look for this lovely little mug going like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say, though. Sounds fantastic, and thank you to all the people watching right now, and to the people that watch later on as well. It's mm -hmm. going to be a very popular video. I have a feeling. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> crossing my fingers, brother. Crossing my fingers. So yeah, so there we have it. You're a man of many talents. Uh, as sure. far as the artistic and uh, professions go, and you also uh, have a great hobby, well, sure. a couple of great hobbies, but especially the gardening, I'm, I'm very intrigued about that. It's fun. It's, you should give it a shot. Uh, do you try gardening? Well, we have, uh, we have a front yard with a garden in it. We okay. do have someone take care of that, though. Oh, it's not as personal, you know. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Your kids. <laughs> you know, every, every morning I get to talk to him, be like, "Hey, what what dog was trying to pee on you today?" You know, you'll be like, "I'll, I'll keep an eye on those guys." You know, it's like my kids. <laughs> wow, Robert. So tell us, do you have a message that you would like to give out to the world right now? Now that we're in lockdown, just a personal message that you'd like to give out to us? Yeah, man. Um, there's there's no boundaries or separation for who anyone is i hate labels right now there's always like oh you're and, and not to be political or anything but just as an example people like oh democrat this or this that or you're blah, blah, blah. there should be no separation this is all humanity for the position we're in everybody should be in it for the community because there's no one single person who is above or below right now we're all on the same spot trying to get through the same stuff so if if we're in a position to help a person that's not in a good spot and we can lift them up and help them, 
you should do it if you can. Yes. If you need help, don't be afraid to ask for help. We all need to be there for each other right now. Oh, absolutely. Be there for each other. And I would just like to say hi to Mr. Jeffrey Soares. He's a hey. friend of mine. He um, put a comment there saying, hi, Matt J. Doyle, and hello, everyone. So including you as well. So thank you, Jeffrey, for that comment. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. What? So, yeah, when, you, we've, when, we're, when we're done with this, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> please feel free to share it with all your uh, followers and friends as well. Absolutely, man. I don't, I don't want this to end. I thought we were going to do this for at least four more hours, Matt. Come on. <laughs> I, got, I got a cup of coffee here. I came loaded, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have some water. Oh, no. I'll send you a no, monster. <laughs> I have something else as well and a cup of tea. There you go. I'll take a cup of tea. <laughs> hey, can you see the tea bag? I can see it right there. Cheers, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I've already had my coffee fixed for the day. I already had, I think, two or three cups of coffee this morning. So, Three tall cups. I would take two short before three tall. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have another comment as well from Carolee Rico. She's saying, hello, <laughs> great show. Thank you, Carolee. Very welcome. Thank you, Carol. I think That's I know one that of your you. group, right? Rico. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> it, this is going to so many people. I don't want to dox myself right now. <laughs> yeah, there's mm -hmm. quite a few people watching right now. So hi to all y'all and thank you for tuning in. Yeah. So, hey, Robert, everyone, man. Hmm? You, you're an amazing person. You have so many gifts that were given to you. Are you Thanks. thankful for all those gifts? I, I try to be, man. Every, I, I, if I told you the, the – not everyone has amazing experiences that, like, take like create who they are at that moment but like the amount that like i have just like i use to guide me my lessons my hindsight are insane man like a few, a few months ago uh i was hit by a car walking across the street man and just like Ooh. like that yeah no i do blessing i but it's it puts things in perspective as to like things can literally just change and mm. you have to accept those circumstances you can't sit and be like, oh, this happened. No, because once that circumstance happened, life goes on. So the, if you identify the circumstances, this is what it is now, and just learn and go, you know. How were you here? Were you crossing the road? or? I, yeah, I was just walking across the street. Not, you know, when someone made a left turn, wasn't expecting it. I was blessed enough that I was wearing a heavy jacket. And, you know, I came out of it like I can talk to you now. You know, it took a few weeks to relax, but it's all experiences, brother. Gee, what kind of injuries did you sustain from that? Yeah, I was lucky enough to uh, to just get a couple, like, bruised ribs and things like that, but nothing intent, nothing too crazy. It shook me for a little bit, but you just take it as an experience, you go on. Like, you know, come on, think, like, really think about it. It's, it's, if, if you lose, if you get close to losing your life, every day after that, you're like, well, crap, I got to make this count, you know? Yeah. And and that's that's something to be really lucky to have. Gee, you're very lucky. That is so lucky that you came out of that with minor exactly. injuries and that you're okay. Exactly. Thankfully. It's, it's, it's sneaking in and like <sighs> it's, it's stealing a lesson from life and being able to get out of it without any sacrifices. You no, know, I didn't lose my walk in, a leg. And I just take that with me every day, man. Yeah, I, w I actually saw someone get hit by a car. Uh, many years ago, and they did not look too well from it. They yeah. kind of limped across the road, and then they fell down at the ro other roadside, and yeah. then they had to go to hospital. But uh, it's not a good yeah. thing. So you were very lucky. Yeah, but I, I I take it to put in another creative process, man. Anytime anything negative happens, if it instead of letting it boil and fester in here, I try to write. I'll try to play piano. I'll try to play guitar. If if that and that's a piece of advice I can give to anyone out there that's creative. If you feel anything in here that's bothering you or something that you just need to express, get it out of your body however you can. You know, don't let it sit in there. That's like that's what therapists are. They just to literally say it from here to out. And that's yeah. what art can be. And I don't I, you know, I feel like not enough people take advantage of that. You know, they they stigmatize it that like they have to be amazing or good. But like imagine the amount of people that if they just Drew, drew a doodle willy nilly mm -hmm. not giving a crap about it with judgment how much better they'd feel you know just to let something out in some degree 
it is great advice and it is very true because I have another show and others, but one main show yeah. besides this show. Mm -hmm. And I just started that the same way. I just got it, wanted to get it out of my system and I just started however I could. I didn't wait till I got the super brilliant cameras and lighting and all the rest of it. I just started with what I had. Exactly. That, that raw feeling and emotions was going to kind of take you on that yeah. ride. And it did grow and I got a better camera and better lighting and everything, but, uh, but I had to start somewhere and I agree with you. I think that's right. Exactly. Those, those raw emotions do, they, they don't steer you wrong. And, and I'll personally say, man, that there are a lot of instances that I didn't trust my like natural feelings and emotions when I should have, but you know, that's the learning experience of becoming an adult. You know? Well, thanks for that advice. I agree with you. I believe it is very true. So uh, I want to wrap this video up around the 20 minute mark, which is where we're at right now. So just okay. uh, on an ending, is there anything else you would like to say or do or sing or uh, yeah. act or a comedy joke or anything? Oh man, a horse walks into a bar. Bartender says, why the long face? A hyuk, hyuk, hyuk. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> you guys want to check out uh, Pass the yeah, Mic? Yeah, because the horse has a long. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, bro. You should start writing some jokes again, uh... man. Uh, let me see. I got some uh, poetry. Uh, it goes, um, I'm all seeing, I'm seeing, I'm I mean, and a few with effects, and I have the good omens to jack me, jack my dope, but me and I don't bounce and snatch. It's like a game of jacks that I'd never have. Every cramp in my own style, but you can tell me to be on the track, and I'm sweating like Conrad Murray on trial. I got that verbiage discreetly. He's seeking in the intermission. In addition to plot twists, mm, I'll leave you superstitious. Be vicious in my prime. He's non every rhyme. I leave diabetics neurotic with every sweet line. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> and we Thank have Danielle you, Puffett leaving a comment as well. Hi, Danielle. She said, hi, Matt. I hope you're staying safe over there. Yes, we're safe over here. Hopefully you're safe mm -hmm. where you are too coming into the winter. Mm -hmm. Being safe. <laughs> As you can see by the face mask. Well, thank you very much for coming on today, Robert. We would love to have you back on the show and on our other shows that we have as well. So please keep yes, in sir. touch. Yes, sir. My pleasure. And, and if you could just stay on, I'm going to end the live video or the end the live broadcast now. And if you could stay yeah. on and we'll talk a little bit later. So thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, thank you for watching afterwards as well. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.